Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back dudes, to another episode of Sea of Attack. The marathon continues. I hope everybody are doing fan freaking tastic. Uh, dudes, last time we broke the age and we ended up with me looking for iron out in the savannah. I'm still out here, still out here. I played like an hour since last time and uh, continued to look for iron and I found a massive vein. Little bit of an inconvenient uh, place though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I'll show you here in a second. I also figured that since we gotta do a lot of stuff with Astral Sorcery, I'm kind of... Kind of scared that we're gonna need a lot of marble. Uh, I mean, it doesn't seem to be super rare in the world, but it's definitely something we'd have to collect. So, just snag in some of these pieces that I saw over here. Um... So yeah, this ravine here is, is where I found the iron. I'll show you. Luckily, luckily, I was traveling and saw it down a, uh, a river hole. So right above here is uh, surface uh, with a little bit of water on top. And so what I've been doing is I've been getting underneath. I've been building myself a little platform. It's, like I said, a little bit inconvenient, uh, but it works. I want to get like two stacks of this and then I think I'm good. For a while. This age that we're on now, dude, it's super freaking exciting. It has hoppers, it has pistons. Just looked into all of that stuff. And uh, that means that we may be able to get into some more easy way to like automate stuff where we don't have to use the. I mean, we've had hoppers, I guess, but they've been kind of like garbaccio. You know what I mean? So now getting simple vanilla hoppers and i also found out that this uh this pack has something called a, an upper <laughs> which is like you can flip the hopper upside down which is pretty cool uh not sure what this is uh they also ha have the liquid hoppers which is just glass and hopper which can probably the liquid hopper is a hopper which you can use to transfer liquids yeah so we can probably do a lot of like uh vanilla ish automation there's still no power gen like arf power gen um, only, or to my knowledge at least, it's only the, uh, the, the saw and, or the, uh, the water wheels and all that. By the way, dudes, thank you so much for the love and support for the last few episodes. As you guys knew, or know, I, uh, I backload quite a bit and I went on a trip and I was reading all the comments and, yeah, lots of good stuff. Apparently one of the most commented thing is that I don't need to care for the lead on a horse. Uh, because even though it disappears, it's just a visual glitch. Something like that. I don't know about that, though. Like, if in vanilla, it's not a visual glitch. It's an actual glitch. Uh, but maybe maybe it's different in this pack. But yeah, anyway, there's my two stacks. I should try and make it back up here. Uh, I marked this area as well on my map. Yeah, this, this vein is huge. I started over here. Um, and then I was like, oh, I'll fill all this in because this was water. I'll fill all this in. I'll be smart. But then there was a big ravine underneath it, so... Yep, didn't turn out the greatest. But anyway, there are my boxes. So we should be we should be having a little bit more than two stacks. Yeah, 11 I had uh, from the ground here. Very cool. Glad we got that. Uh, that also, by the way, I should say, that also gave me the advancement. So I got this one now when I dug the first one out. Um, <clears throat> today I would like to see if we can get a few steps towards the next age. I mean, we've just started on this age though, and I don't know Astral Sorcery, so it's probably going to take a while, a while, but we knocked out quite a few of these last time, and I kind of want to continue that because we're getting into like tinkers, and yeah, having a stone pickaxe mining is just depressing, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, we could probably very easily get an iron pick now because we can smelt this up and probably turn it into, um, ingots and stuff. Ooh, hello there, but uh, if we can if we can do like a tinker powered iron pickaxe, I think that'd be better for us. So this is quite far away from from home, um, so you can see there. So I'm probably gonna get on my raft, and can I make a boat? Yeah, I can. I can make a boat. Maybe that's a better better thing actually. Boat. No, okay, there's a... Ah, they be sneaky. So I can make it, but I need my saw. Yeah, because I only have that. Oh, that sucks. That's just so sneaky. That's so sneaky, dudes. There she is. Land ahoy. Do I have any more piranhas after me? No. <laughs> so, um, there was like uh, a little strip, strip of land that I had to... Uh, Get off my ball for it. and I had three piranhas after me. It was funny. 
They are crazy, dude. They be crazy. Anyway, home sweet home. I did find a Liliac, which, you know, may be good. Uh, if we want some, uh, if we want some uh, purple dye, I think it is we get from that. Let's put this garbage in here. And that's about it. Okay. Okay. So we got the iron stuff. And I probably should do a farm run here in a little bit as well, but I'll do that off camera. Um, let's have a look. We got the iron one. The next one is the smelter tank. Solid fuels only get you so far. Craft and place a porcelain or sear tank beneath your melter to melt iron and other materials needing higher temperatures. Note, you'll need to let the current fuel source run out or break replace the melter to see the new temperature. Oh, okay. So we can't actually smelt the iron in this... Uh, in the guy that we have. That's interesting. I really wouldn't mind seared bricks. Let's get out, let's get this out. Yeah, I really wouldn't mind getting into the real tinker stuff if we can. Um what is this? Can heat the melter using solid fuels, but has a more limited temperature. Okay, so that's uninteresting. Yeah, so this is grout, which we got to mill together gravel, clay, and sand. So we can't just craft it. Okay. Uh, gravel is a bit of an issue. And so is sand, I would think. Well, let's get rid of that. Um, I don't think I have any sand. Obviously, we can get sand. We can, we can go out and get it. I think... Oh, yeah. These guys. This is what I thought. These guys. Remember, we did these early to get the shark tooth. They produce sand and gravel so maybe maybe we should go back in tech a bit <laughs> not back in tech but maybe maybe we should uh set that production up because we do have quite a bit of clay and the mill is automated so we can easily like uh do some cool stuff with that let me do this let's put away this stuff and let's put away these things and these things and these things because, I mean, we could always go out and, and and collect gravel, but if we can produce it, that would be better. So, uh, what was it that we did? We did the survivalist trainer, I think. Let's just have a look. That's not it. Uh, we did a dense something. Dense. Uh, dense survival. Okay, this guy. Yeah, yeah, this guy here. Uh, so, we get gravel, dirt, sand, and ink sacks and shark tooth. Um... And then there's a solid version of it that has more efficiency and more uses. Okay. And what does this cost? That costs iron. So we can't really do that yet. Okay. So this is just string and sticks. That's an easy craft. Uh, what about the thing that we put it in? Strainer base. That's a hopper, a chest, and some wood. So what I'm thinking is <clears throat> maybe we place down. We could actually... With the uppers, when we get to that, we, we could fully automate this and grab the stuff out of them. But they have a quite big inventory themselves, so we don't really need to have that. So, let me do the following. Let me craft up. I think maybe, I mean, the more strainers we have, the better. But let me craft up three more of these guys. Um, yeah, that should be doable. Let me craft up three more of these uh, dudes, and then we will uh, see if we can... If five is going to be enough for what we want to produce. Wow, this is looking pretty good now. I didn't realize this looks like a working, like a little wood chop there. Even though it has nothing to do with wood, but yeah. that will. That's what I'll do. I need to chop some wood here. A lot of people have also said that I should uh, put a chest above the mill and that that will work for picking up the item. So I want to try that out if that's a thing when we use the mill. We are going to need a lot of string to make this happen, I just realized. How much do we have? None. And none. Yeah, because uh, this needs a cobweb and... Yeah, we're going to need a lot of string. The best way to get string is to grab a work blade. And actually I have one. And then scissors, which I think I may have in here. Scissors, shears, I mean, yes. And then go and shear... Uh, sheep that's the that's the best way I've found because with this fleece that you get you can take that in the work but you get four string one two three three strainers extra we have two already and then was it like that yes that will give me the dense net so I'm gonna need a little bit more string crappers um, okay anyway let's uh, 
How did I make this? Okay, and then just sticks around that. Nice. I can totally do that. Did I have more sticks in here? No. And obviously, this would be a maintenance thing to do more of these uh, net. Oh, and they don't stack. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. See if we can make enough space. Yeah, my inventory is always a mess, and I don't, I don't necessarily always see things that I can put away. I bet you when you're watching, you're like, ah, what is this guy doing carrying 27 gold? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing carrying 27 gold. It's just me being a derp. Uh, but anyway, we got what we need here. So yeah, these will have to be replaced, but like they will produce two stacks or so each, which is nice. And whilst we're waiting for uh, that to generate resources for us, again, the, the, the reason we're doing this is because I want to go down the route of uh, thermal expansion, if we can. Because I don't think, uh, or not thermal expansion, what am I saying? Uh, Tinker's Construct. Because I don't think we can mix. We can't mix these, the porcelain stuff. Porcelain, we can't mix this with the... Uh, um... Ooh, we got a casting table now. Yeah, I don't think we can mix this and the... the Thermal expansion stuff. Can melt bells with no mic alloys. Maybe we can. I thought I read somewhere. I thought I read it somewhere that you can't. You have to use either or. This stuff here is flint and bone meal. So the cost of it is pretty similar. Pretty similar. You know what? Let's actually try. We got one gravel. We got a little bit of sand. And let's get some clay. Uh, and let's just try... To put this in the mill and then put a chest on top of the mill before I forget because a lot of people have been telling me that's a thing. Which, you know, may make sense, I don't know. So a chest would go on top here and then we'd stick this, this and that in there. Okay. If that works, I'm an idiot for not having tried that. <laughs> no, no, okay, so it just spits it out. So people have been saying that I should use an absorption opera as well, of course. But I mean, we we don't have that yet. <laughs> we're not that we're not that advanced quite yet. But yeah, because we got two grout for that, and we're gonna need. I can I I I fail to remember all the time how much grout we actually need. But we the good thing is we can cook this up in our barbecue, or in our kiln actually. Um, probably quicker to do it in the kiln. But yeah, uh, so that's going to be one of the things that I want to get here. Let me just see. Do I have any gravel laying around, chilling, having a good time, grabbing the clay? I don't. Uh, maybe uh, over here. I mean, I could just go and dig gravel out. But eh, I kind of want my machine to produce it for me. All right. So whilst we're collecting gravel here, I just organized a little bit. Uh, whilst that is collecting, let's see if we can focus on focus on something else here. Um, specifically down here. Paper Surprise. That's a funny game. Oh, I had so much fun with that. How do we make papers? We gotta take pulp and hang it on a on a wall. And that's of course a browser. Okay, so that sawdust and glue generates pulp. How else can we get it? Uh, no, that's about it. So sawdust and glue. Okay, so glue is kind of a manual process or kind of requires a lot of input from us but uh don't know how much paper we're gonna need but let's grab do i not have any animal stuff i bet you i do somewhere uh let's throw that away oh these totem torch is gonna go in the crafting chest and it's full the crafting chest is full aha uh -huh. i think also i'm out of black quartz so that's that's not a good thing at all Okay, so we take this and we need to cauldron that first. But every animal hide is one glue. And every one glue is then three of the pulps after drying and all of that. So I guess it's not too bad. The sawdust is completely... We got so much sawdust because of the uh, because of the saw, uh, sawmill. But yeah, let's just see uh, how much we can get here. So to the cauldron. Oh, and we had 13 glue prepared like a cooking show. Whew! And I wonder if this will... Uh, it's not gonna cook up. That's not gonna cook up. But that's fantastic. We we had some glue ready. Yeah, I'll just make a few of these. Uh, let's actually check the advancement first before. Uh, one, two, three, one, and the water. Yeah, let's check the advancement tab. So it says, uh, evolve your paper production technique by making Minecraft paper. <laughs> okay. Yep. And then we need this. Acquire constellation paper to fill the information in your astral sorcery journal. Okay, constellation. See, this is where I'm scared. 
Uh, oh no, we need to do ritual. Or we could do it with all of that stuff. And we need to use gold for this. <laughs> 500 PE. Okay, and we need to find rock crystals. Yeah, and it takes four aquamarine to get one. Now, let me remind you. Okay, let me remind you. The aquamarine that I have. I think I have 15 aquamarine or something like that left. I spent two and a half something hours finding 23 aquamarine. <laughs> oh, how many constellations do we need to find them to progress? Because I'm not super interested in doing Astral Sorcery, if I'm honest. It's a really cool mod. Not slagging off the mod at all, because it's one of the, like, so well developed and everything. But, yeah. That's tricky. So that's to progress. And then we're going to need to collect Stardust. Um, right click while holding the Astral Sor Sorcery journal to store your constellation. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Ah, dudes. And we're probably gonna need to find stardust can be found when breaking rock crystal samples. Don't forget to mark your map because the samples will also indicate a vein of rock crystals or beneath. Oh, okay, so that's how we get rock crystals. Uh, once your astral sorcery infrastructure is complete, you can begin making them. Ah, okay, so hmm. We need to also find rock crystals in the world, but there are samples to be found for them and i didn't see a single one uh let's see what we can do with this woolly blankets a block of wicket or we're smelting um uh, can you just tell me how to make obvious art wool what is this stuff wicker what is wicker oh okay yes that we can probably do let's go do that Let's try and get some of these advancements out because what I noticed in the in the previous age is that a lot of the advancements are actually um, very useful to get ahead, like the saw and all of that. I almost missed that entire thing. Uh, so let's hang these up. They will turn into paper. Cool. And let's try and use some sugar cane to make that quicker. Let's just make a bunch of it, I guess. And maybe we can make like a normal bed so we don't have to sleep on a freaking hay bed. Not that it really matters. It's kind of cozy. And then we need to turn this guy into uh, one of those. Nice. So wool is quite expensive, but not too bad. And then I need to go and find some sheep, shear them and get their fleas. I should probably start making a sheep farm. But so far it's been like kind of nice because uh, I want to kill you for glue. <laughs> for your pelt. Pig pelt! Come here. Come here. Thank you. Got nothing. Yeah, so far it's been kind of nice because there are lots of sheep just behind my uh, my base here. By the lava pool. We mustn't forget where that is. Mommy, what am I going to be when I grow up? You're going to be glue, son. You're going to be glue. What a faith. <laughs> what a faith. I may have uh, gone on a bit of a rampage there, but here we go. We got 16 of these, so let's just do one of the hool and boom! Hooly blankets! Craft some hool from fleece and, and wicker, okay. Then it's this thing here, locate the druid, and I don't understand why the thermal expand, or uh, thinker's construct is after that. Locate the druid circle in a swamp biome, kill the druids and use their talisman piece pieces to create the swamp talisman click the talisman on a place sapling to create a large portal to in the between lands i kind of want to do this to be honest with you guys right now uh we we can complete the paper and i kind of want to do that just to get access to tinker's construct so we do have some of these talisman pieces we have a swamp talisman piece and another swarm talisman. Okay, that's just their name. And I think we looked at this. We have these two. And on the druid altar, we need a swarm talisman piece. That's a bone thing. And then we need that thing. So I think I want to do that. I think I want to do that next. Uh, the, the druid place. Yeah, the place is down there. It's not too far. This is so cool. Floating with the current in these uh, rivers that occurs. Very, very cool. But anyway, here's one of the altars, and what I think... Ooh, you do a lot of damage. Why do I not have my extra hearts? Okay. It's weird. 
what I think I have to do here is get all the different pieces. Okay, so now we got three different pieces. Let me have a look at my protein. Oh crap, I'm doing garbage on on grain and fruit. Hi Druid. I'm so sorry. I need your stuff. Did I get it? No. No, 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 no. Ah, I was doing so good. Oh, there are berries there. Okay. I was doing so good and then this guy's just been wrecking my face. Come on, dude. Nice. Okay. Alright, so far I think I've killed maybe six of them without getting any drops. So that's... Uh, I don't know why I killed that owl. So that's kind of uh, weird. Because I got three of the pieces. But maybe once you have... Oh, there we go. Yes! Okay, so maybe they never drop the same one again. They just drop nothing. So there, 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 and there. Ooh. Something is happening. I like that. Look at the creeper face and everything. Oh, that is beautiful, man. That is so nice. Okay, do I... Do I grab it here? Nice. Okay, so we got that thing. Did it not register as a, an achievement? Hold on. What? Oh, maybe I have to do the process. Okay, so click the talisman on a sapling to create a large... Um, a large thing. Alright, back home and I've uh, decided that we're gonna put this thing over here. Like I said, I've got no idea how big this thing in is or how it looks or anything. But it said a large portal, so, you know, we'll see. I just cleared out some space here. On the way home, by the way, I found a massive iron vein. <laughs> very, very close to us, so that's perfect. Uh, and mar I marked it down on the map. It's right over... Uh, well, not super close, but it's way right over there. Not far, not far. Okay, so let's take this guy and... There's not enough space for the portal. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll clear out some more land. That's crazy, though. That is crazy. I'm excited for this, dude. How much space do I need? All right, let's try this again. Uh, if I have a sapling, which I don't... Once again, clearing out stuff with, uh, oh, I do have saplings. Clearing out stuff in this mod pack is just, uh, yeah, a little bit disgusting. Uh, and they have regrown. Oh my goodness. Okay. So even the plant twines regrow, by the way, I found out. Okay, let's, uh, let's try this again. So, boop. And. Whoa! Oh, dudes, that is awesome looking. Oh, that looks awesome, dude! Portal frame in between lands. Okay. Alright. So, I guess... I mean, I kinda wanna go and check it out. But we don't have much time left on the video today. So... Let's just take a quick... A quick, uh, quick see, a quick look. Uh, and see what we can see. Do I stand in this thing? Go in, or how does this work? Yeah. Yeah. And I've got some meatballs or poopsie balls above my hunger. What is going on? It feels... It's so weird. We made it. We made it. Flathead mushroom. Oh, this place looks insane. There's like a crack up in the sky as well. Look at that. Looks absolutely amazing. Oh! Holy crap, what the... What? Right, okay, you know what? You, there's something... Sir, there's something wrong with your shoulder, man. There's something wrong with... Okay. Okay, you're everywhere. You're everywhere. Can I not eat normal food here? I can, okay. Hold on, let's check the advancement. Uh, the between the blah, blah, blah. If flint or bone tools aren't cutting it any longer, you'll need a smeltery. After you place all your smeltery blocks, place the smeltery control to complete the structure. Why is that for... Why do why do I get these things now? Look at that. Iron bucket as well. Weed wood. Weed wood sticks are found by breaking weed wood bushes. Commonly found around the in-between lands. No, they are av not... They are not available by chopping wood. Okay, so that's something I need. Tools brought into the between lands from other dimensions will not be effective... 
You'll need to craft new tools and weapons to progress. Note this advancement specifically requires you to craft a Weedwood Sword to complete. I see. That's why they want us to go here. Weed wood. So this stuff here. Weed wood bushes. Do we see any of those? Uh, and what the crap are all of these things? That's a protein thing. There's moss here as well. Okay. Can I shear that stuff? No. Weed wood. Uh, this stuff here. Yeah, yeah. Weed wood bush. Ah, there we go. And I'm stuck. I'm actually... Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> That's a kind of mud quicksand stuff. Okay. Can I place... I can place normal vanilla blocks. This place looks insane. Absolutely insane. Let's see if we can make that sword. Weed wood sword. <laughs> okay, for that we need planks. So I'm guessing... I can't cho chop this down. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's just gonna be super slow. Okay. And I got another advancement for that. Getting harder wood. Giggity. Okay. Oh, I see. I see there are... Oh, this is a little bit annoying. There is a bunch of... Um, specific... Uh, aha. Specific advancements from this mod. I see how that works. Okay. Let me try then. Let's do this. Let's uh, get some planks because I didn't bring any. And let's just try and see if we can craft this. Oh, do I have to chop these to get the planks? I guess so. We'd wood planks, yes. So let's make the sword. It was one of those. And boom. Ha. Huh. That's worse than this guy. I can't really tell because they have different... Yeah, four and six. It is. But there we go. Serious business in between lands. Look at that. So we completed a bunch of stuff up there. I don't know if it's going to be useful for us this dimension. I don't know if there are things. I thought that because of Tinkers being behind this, I thought that we needed to go here. But it looks fantastic. Looks absolutely weird. And I'm excited to check it out. But anyway, dudes, for now, uh, we were way over time in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, we'll focus more on the, uh, on the Tinkers. And speaking about which, I did promise you guys... Look at these cool things, by the way. I did promise you guys that we would... Uh, Check the status of the gravel and that. So, well, let's go back home and check that out real quick. You know what I've noticed here, guys? On the last stage, I'm pretty sure there was no iron and gold zombies. And now, almost all of them are iron and gold. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay. So, we got... Oh, wow. That's nothing. <laughs> That's nothing. That's about an hour of uh, sitting here. I guess we weren't in the area all the time, though. But it's a... I mean, it's a little bit... Uh, I'll probably keep this running. I'll be AFK or something till next time. So we collect a little bit so we can make the seared bricks. But anyway, dudes, like I said, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. The Queedwood Sword, the in-between lands got explored today. Slimy Bone. There are a bunch of cool stuff. Um, I'm sure from this mod that we can uh, <laughs> that we can play around with. But, uh, and we, we, okay, we're going to need some of it to create... Okay, so we needed to go there. We need some of these materials to, to progress in the uh, Astro Sorcery. I see how they made that. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you dudes in the next episode.